today is the power of posture. Okay? So if anyone wants to sit down, feel free, there's chairs around the table. Um, but we're going to explore the connection between posture and brain function and posture and your health. So it might kind of seem like a big step going from you know, sitting or standing to your brain and to health at this stage, but it will make a bit more sense as I go through, okay? Um, now, I've been a chiropractor for, I'll be going into my 29th year. So it, it's a really great um, profession. It's, it's been great for me and it's been great now at this point to actually give back and to get out and you know, do these talks and to get out into the community. And I've even got my eldest son who's a chiropractor now, so it can't be all that bad. Does anyone here see a chiropractor and have their spine assessed? Yeah, yep. cool. Be honest. Okay. Be honest, it's all right. Mm. <laughs> yeah, cool, cool. But it's, spinal health is really, really important. Now, if I was a dentist and I was standing here and I said, has anyone here not been to a dentist? Has anyone here not been to a dentist? <laughs> Everyone's been, everyone been to a dentist? Yeah. Mm -hmm. Of course, because it's funny, isn't it? And like for a, for a chiropractor, if I say, who hasn't had their spine checked, that, that would be the same, like if I was the dentist going, oh my gosh, no one here, one person or two, three, have had their spines or their teeth <coughs> um, checked out of all of you, that's kind of hilarious, isn't it? But which is more important, your teeth or your spine? Spine, you can do it without your teeth, but can you do without your spine? <laughs> You know, posture is how we hold ourselves, it's how we sit, how we stand, how we move through our day. Now, we all know we need to have good posture, but we're going to go through what is good posture, yeah? So how do you assess if your posture is good? And, um, you know, what happens, you know, what will, kind of what are the reasons why a posture can deteriorate? Okay, what are the things that can cause poor posture? And then what are we going to do about it? So what we do about it as chiropractors and what you guys can do about it on a daily basis. And just checking in with yourself. Because a lot of the times I say to my, the people that come into the office, I say sometimes it's like you're a head without a body. You're just dragging this thing around towards your body. Does that make sense? We're so much in our head that we just don't connect with this thing towards your body. True or true? True. Yeah, exactly. So we need to get that connection. And really, this is all chiropractic is about. This is about spinal health, is connecting your brain to your body. So your body can send the right messages to your brain so your brain can respond to your environment and you're going to be a much healthier and happier human being. Okay, does that sound good? Side, we want to maintain these curves. This is all obviously assuming our curves are all good to start with. We'll talk about that in a tick. So we want to maintain this. So if you're looking down all the time, are we maintaining that nice neck? No. Okay, if we're slumped, head stuck in the computer, are we going to be maintaining that? No. Nope. Nope. Now what's that going to do? Are your nerves going to be happy? <coughs> no. No. So if this is a neutral spine and you've got minimal tension and stress, you've got less tensile forces going through that nerve system that runs your body, this is neutral, this is low stress. This is at low or high stress? High. They can measure the tensile forces going through your nerves and we know that changes in the curves will not only load the nerves in your nerve system that runs you, but over time if you hold that posture for too long, you're going to get changes in your actual structure. So that's when I see changes in curves when people get x-rays and instead of their neck having that nice full curve, we've got no neck curve. So over time, there's, well, there's a few things that actually will cause changes in our posture. So the first one is what we've just spoken about is, is actual behavioural changes in holding posture wrongly for too long and then muscles get weak and then the, the structure of the body starts to change over time. So this is low, um, low forces and stresses over a long period of time. Okay? So you know we see this in office workers a lot. We see it in people that have got kind of one-sided sort of work, um, but does that make sense so far? So how we move during our day will have an impact on how 
on, on our structure. So it can actually, our function can actually change our structure. So the other thing too that can cause these changes is um, uh, things that happen to you, injuries, whether it's car accidents, whether it's um, sporting injuries. Anyone here had sporting injuries, car accidents? <laughs> I'm yeah. sure none of you have. <laughs> so these can create damage, and, and especially if you don't get that spine checked pretty much straight away. Yeah.